Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I wanted to show you a new hockey targeting system called the Ultimate Goalie and you can pick this up at Hockey Shop. Now um, anybody who's followed me for any amount of time knows I'm a huge fan of targeting systems when you're working on your shot. Uh, in my opinion you need something to shoot at. So uh, this is very similar to some other designs but what this has done is actually corrected some of the issues that other designs have had. So this straps into any regular full-size hockey net. I'm using it on the easy goal and you can see I've taken off the back stops just in case you're wondering those are removable and uh, you know if you ever do decide you want to use these um, use the net without the backstop you can take them off pretty easily it's just a couple wing nuts that you unscrew um, lucky for me we've got the uh, sniper's edge set up behind it so that's going to be my backstop for shooting in here and I've put my other backstops kind of covering the windows so hopefully that won't come into play but in case it does we're set so anyways back to the ultimate goalie the ultimate goalie is uh, very similar to some of the other designs, like I mentioned before. But what it's done is a couple small tweaks that I think make this a lot more effective. So other designs uh, use bungee straps to hook it into the net. This also uses bungee straps, but what it's done is increased the size of the canvas just a little bit so that the canvas now wraps around the post and the bungee connects on the back side of the post. What happens with some of the older models is they stop right here, kind of at the inside edge of the post. And that's a problem for a couple reasons. A, pucks can slip through there. So if you're playing like a scrimmage and or drop in or something like that, um, sometimes it's debatable on whether or not goals count that go in through the side. That's not gonna be a problem here. But the bigger issue with having the bungee cords on the side is that uh, you hit them with pucks. And it doesn't take very long hitting them with pucks before this is one of my old shooter tutors before they completely sever. So you can see that one's broken. This one, I've got it still rolled up obviously, but you can see that's starting to go. This one's almost gone and this one has broken. So that's just a, I mean, that's a pretty typical example of what your shooter tutor will look like after a few years with the bungee cords linking on the side like that. So the ultimate goalie corrects that problem. You can see the canvas wraps around on top so that any point that's a likely place that you're going to be shooting at, no bungees uh, are exposed. So unless you're shooting from behind the net and happen to catch one, just perfect, most of the time you're not going to hit it. Another cool thing about this, you'll notice this little handle here. And uh, one of the problems, or it's, it's not really a problem, but it's annoying, is fishing pucks out of the shooter tutors. Usually you have to tip the net or, uh, you know, just get somebody with the stick and fish them all out. You pull this little handle and watch what happens. Hold on, I don't know if I'm kind of one-man show here. Pull the handle and you can see it lifts up the bottom foot of the net. So real easy to scoop pucks out. You can see I've still got the, uh, hockey, the uh, easy goal targeting system set up. I just put this over top. So if you're wondering what these nettings are, that's just a different targeting system, but pretty cool. So uh, the handle pulls up the thing. Now one word of caution about the handle and uh, I'll throw this out there. Maybe the ultimate, uh, ultimate goalie designer guys, if you see this, but um, when I first got on the ice, the one small complaint I have about this is look at that rope. Try to focus here. Okay, not a very durable rope. In fact, within like 10 minutes of actually putting this out on the ice um, for one of our practices, this rope had broken. And then uh, to add insult to injury, one of our uh, brightest guys on the team, because <laughs> once that rope is gone, then the backside, the rope that connects it underneath, you can see it there, starts dangling. So uh, not only did the handle pull out, but then he skated over the remaining rope and cut it. So I, I tied it all back together, it works fine. But man, even if this was, well, that's the other thing. That plastic piece, I don't know, I haven't hit it with a puck yet, but uh, we'll see, that might break if it gets hit by a puck properly, or hit by a puck in a certain way. But uh, what I was thinking is kind of even just keep the same, same design and everything, but just run like a skate lace out through there and then maybe a piece of Velcro or something to keep it from falling back in, or I'm sure you can get creative on different ways to keep that from falling back in the hole. But even like a skate lace or something a little more substantial than this skinny line there, 
I think would do cool, would do a really good job. But overall, the design is pretty cool. I like that because that is annoying having to fish pucks out with the conventional shooter tutors. And uh, all in all, you know, with the exception of that line breaking, this has been a really good experience um, using this so far. So what I'm going to do now is cut and show you kind of what this looks like in action. We'll take a couple shots and then call it a day. Okay, so here's what the uh, ultimate goalie looks like in action. Um, whenever I'm working on my shots, I like to work on my shot one corner at a time. So I pick like the highest percentage shot for whatever hand I shoot, which is righty. And then, uh, you know, I'll get to the point where I can hit that consistently and then uh, open it up to more and more shots until eventually, hopefully you can snipe at will any corner. So let's start lower right. That's a good spot for righties. Throw a couple in there. Go upper right. Bottom right and upper right are kind of the best places for righties to shoot. Uh, if you're a lefty, you'll probably want to go lower left. Five holes always good too. So let's go lower left. And let's pop some upper uh, upper left as well. Not nearly as high percentage because you got your goalie's blocker, but. Always good to be able to shoot there anyways. Then five hole. And then once you've kind of gotten to the point where you can snipe whatever corner you're looking for, um, then I, I like to try to go five for five. So upper left, upper right, lower right, lower left, and then see if we can go five hole. So I got five pucks left, let's see if we can do that. Three for three. That one hit a puck and bounced out, but we'll count it. Bottom right. And we're going five hole. Ah, so close. Anyways, that's the idea. Great product. Um, definitely correct some of the mistakes that have been going on with some of the other versions of Shooter Tutors, but uh, definitely a product I recommend. You can pick it up at hockeyshot.com. And make sure you visit the link in our description for uh, pick up your coupon code and save 10 bucks off your order. <laughs> I like the stomp, silly dude. <laughs>